Now pay attention, W7. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you bleed. And the second, always have an escape. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever it may be, I'm Christopher Morales, that one Bond guy, and I'm super excited to be coming back with another Thrifting for Bond video. Oh my gosh, it's been how long since the last one? I know, I know, but I am super excited to do this one. This one was actually a few months in the making, and I owe it to a special individual to get me started on this uh, frugal and thrifting outfit and it can come at a more perfect time because it's going to be the outfit that I wear to an upcoming wedding I have to get ready for. Not mine, don't worry. Outfit we see Bond getting off the train with Madeline on and Spectre. Originally the Brunello Cuccinelli suit, uh, jacket and pants and then the Tom Ford shirt with the beautiful copper Tom Ford tie um, and again with the beautiful desert boots that just overall make the outfit look super slick and super nice especially for the hot weather that we're having this summer it's perfect for for bond in the desert and for me getting ready for this wedding which will be majority outside actually like i said i have most of the pieces i have shoes um, that i got from target which we'll dive into real quick in a minute and then uh the jacket was actually a very very awesome gift from Mr. Zafran Jones. You know him, you love him. He's on Instagram. He's huge in the Bond community, always coming to events, and just overall a fantastic Bond fan and amazing friend in general. He actually gifted me this beautiful Banana Republic blazer. And you can see it's unlined already, just like the one that Bond's wearing in the film. Um, perfect color. I think it's completely accurate. You can see even has the stitching outside on the lapel like the original Brunello Chanelli suit jacket. Um, also with the correct type of pockets there and buttons look super accurate as well. So overall, I mean, I think it looks fantastic. I'm gonna put it on here as, as we speak. Overall, it looks fantastic and it fits amazing very lightweight and very very perfect for hot, hot weather all we need now actually is to go on a hunt for the pants i need some pants and remember like in the original outfit it is kind of like a putty color a little bit uh, not gray not tan a little mixture in between so we got to go find that uh, i got this shirt actually from online amazon so you can go hop on Amazon and find that there. Fingers crossed though, we, you know, along with this uh, thrifting for Bond thing, it's always about the hunt. So we may not find it there, but we'll just have to keep looking. And then overall, we'll have the complete outfit together and I'll showcase it here. And then I'll get to showcase it at the upcoming wedding, which I cannot wait to do. With that being said, let's go on the journey. Let's go on that hunt and see if we can find the pants and the copper tie. And we'll come back here with everything in hand and we'll walk through it in detail. Here we are, back in the room, fully suited, and by far this outfit, and I say this all the time, but this outfit is probably gonna be in my top three now as my favorite thrifting for Bond outfits, just because it came together so smoothly, and I, re I mean, I owe it all to Mr. Zafran Jones. Shout out to him again. Honestly, this one, I think this episode is dedicated to him because if it wasn't for him sending me over 
this wonderful, wonderful homage jacket from Banner Republic, I wouldn't have started uh, the hunt to find all the rest of the pieces. Um, but that being said, again, thank you so much for that. And I, it's safe to say this episode is dedicated to him. But all right, so into the outfit, the tie, oh my goodness, the find the tie was a one in a million chance. I mean, as you can see, as I come up close, it's that copper color, not exactly the grenadine type that we see Bond actually wearing from Tom Ford, but it is super close in color. And I mean, it looks great either way paired with the jacket. Um, and then the shirt is one that I've had. It's, I mean, I got it online for 15 bucks. So finding a white t-shirt is super easy. Um, and the pants, which I'll go ahead and show you now. The pants are an interesting story. Um, they actually are fitted. And that is why I did a little snapshot of me driving from what it looked like clothes that were pressed and cleaned from a tailor shop. I actually took the jacket and the pants to my local tailor shop that I've been going to for years and talk about greatly priced the jet they completely tapered the pants all the way from the uh about the knee down because they needed they were really wide towards the the foot and then they cut off some of the bottom to to kind of hem up they would fit better for me so that was about 30 dollars and the jacket i had um all i did was just bring in the, the sleeves a little bit they were hanging a little low and i brought them up that was 30 dollars also so together 60 dollars for a outfit that you know is really honestly customized to me which is pretty pretty cool i mean for thrifting for bond off but i say that is a huge win uh, and that just goes to show to go to your local cleaners or with tailors that are maybe in your neighborhood and they will hook you up with a uh, good high quality work for a price that you cannot beat so super excited about that and then now the shoes uh the shoes again i think i mentioned it before but if not i got them from target which I can go ahead and link in the description below. But these are fantastic Chukka desert type boots that uh, I mean I wear with casual outfits as well as dressing up as you can see. They just fit the bill perfectly when it comes to the post training outfit. All right, for a close up shot, yes, this is the watch that I am wearing. Obviously, uh, Bond is wearing the Seamaster Diver 300 with the uh, Kato Brand band, the ultra iconic and beautiful uh, Omega watch that um, he's wearing. I'll post a picture of the original right here next to mine. But this is my Fossil FB01, uh, just a, an homage watch to it. And then I added the uh, strap from I believe archerstraps.com. Check them out. They have a bunch of things uh, Bond related and not. Highly recommend. And then lastly, you have to add the iconic, one of the most iconic pieces in the outfit, which are the sunglasses. A lot of us instantly recognize these and a lot of us have them in our own collection and they are the Tom Ford Henry's that we see Bond wearing. Beautiful glasses, beautiful styles, almost like a Wayfair um, or you know those classic Ray-Ban looking uh, glasses which you can find many versions super close to, to them on Amazon as well. I'm going to suggest that, throw that out there. You can't get the Henry's but if you can, I highly recommend it. It ties this whole outfit together perfectly, and they're just awesome glasses. So yes, I will be posting pictures uh, of the whole outfit of me wearing everything together, um, head to toe, so you guys can see what it looks like, you can see the colors. But overall, I think this was a huge success when it came to thrifting, and the hunt was so much fun. And again, I can't believe how easy it was. I literally stayed for a couple hours at one Goodwill, and I found the tie, the pants, and everything came together so smoothly. I am so thankful for that. And you know what? It's just another story to add to the 13 for Bond series. So that being said, again, this is the Spectre post train outfit that you see Bond wearing right before he goes and meets Blofeld uh, towards the end of Spectre. It's gonna be something that I'm gonna be wearing to my cousin's wedding, which is coming up in a couple days and it's gonna be something that incorporates bond and ultimately have that invisible bond moment for me and i got to share it with you guys as always that's one of the best parts for me hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you have any con comments or questions please list them below i'll do my best to link uh, some of the things like the shoes and and um, other things the jacket 
I'll do my best to try to link them so you guys can find them. But again, the whole purpose of Thrifting for Bond is to go hang out and have your own hunt uh, to put together iconic outfits that we see throughout the 007 franchise without breaking the bank. Can't wait to see you for the next one. Until then, I'm Christopher Morales, that one Bond guy. I'll see you then. Take care.